All right, welcome into today's upper body workout where we're gonna focus on getting that nice, good, tight tone sculpted arms so we can start seeing some definition. There's gonna be a lot of holds today, so as you focus on holding, you wanna just make sure that you're really feeling that muscle burning, all right, while the other one's in that motion. All right, anytime you need to take any rest or breaks, that's totally fine. Start with some light weight and let's begin. All right, you can go either seated, standing, kneeling, really whatever feels best for you. Let's go ahead and hold one arm where it's a great 90 degree angle where your elbow is not tucked behind your rib cage, but actually more in front of your rib cage. You wanna make sure that your wrists are locked so you're not, uh, you know, just they're straight in line from your knuckles all the way to your wrist. While the other arm is just gonna go straight up to the bottom top bicep curl. And again, that elbow in the same place, it's gonna be more at the front of your rib cage not behind in your back or anything like that. Good, focus on just breathing. So you're gonna exhale when it's hard and inhale on when it's easy. So exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Good, and just kind of sink your breath to the movement. If you need to slow down your movement, slow down your breathing, that's totally fine as well. Good. Good, after that, we're gonna go into a hammer curl. So same thing, you're still holding on the other side. Make sure you're not completely resting it onto your core. You really wanna feel that out of the one just definitely burning. So get the best out of our little 10 minute workout today by isolation holds. Good, now let's go ahead and now flip to the other side. Slower is actually better. You don't need to go through quick motions here. Control it on the way up and control it on the way down. Make sure you're breathing. Good, now go ahead and just twist it so your palm's facing inward and same thing, hammer curl. Good. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn the palms facing away from us and then as we bring them up, we're gonna twist them so the palm is facing towards us. Then on the way back down, we reverse that, okay? So a nice little twist. We're gonna go for 10 reps, here we go. Love it. Now you definitely should be feeling your biceps on fire right now. And if that's the case, that's good, good news because you are sculpting, toning, building lean muscle. Now let's go ahead and go into the shoulders. So we're gonna have the palms facing towards us. We're gonna go ahead and just go one at a time. The other one's gonna hold about 90 degree angle. So still that nice, good square angle. And here we go. Love it. Now you're gonna, other arm is gonna open up. So it's going to be at a 90 degree angle. Now at the side, your palm is facing away from you. Keep your core nice and tight through here. You're actually getting a core exercise this whole way through and make sure you keep breathing. Good, your other shoulder is dying right now like mine. Ooh. Little break, awesome, and let's go to the other arm. Good, open it up. Love it, super proud of you, shake it out. All right, next let's go into the back of the arms. When we're waving that flap right there, let's go ahead and tighten that up. So same thing, we're gonna have a hold 
Again, lower your weight if you feel like it's too challenging for you, okay? It's always good to start off as a beginner as you go through this. So both arms are gonna come up overhead into that overhead tricep extension. One arm is gonna hold 90 degree angles, and the other arm is going to go up and down. Here we go. Good, switch sides. Exhale, inhale on the way down. Exhale is the way up. Beautiful. And now lastly, we're gonna go into that back. You're gonna hinge at the hips. You want to have your straight line from your head all the way down to your tailbone. And from here, you wanna to try to be as parallel to the floor as you can. You're gonna hold one arm up, the palm is facing away from you, and the other arm is also palm facing away from you, bringing that elbow right towards the rib cage. Here we go. Pay attention, that weight is really close to your hip. You're not up here by your chest. So bring it down, drop the shoulder blade down, and you're gonna go right along through that front thigh. If your lower back doesn't feel strong enough, you can even alternate your feet like this. Next arm, still holding. Now your palm is gonna be facing away from you. So behind you, and the other arm, face the palm away, and this time, instead of the elbow being right next to the rib cage, bring it straight out. Bringing that weight all the way up to underneath the armpit. Beautiful work, now the other arm. Switch, so this one, palm is facing away from you, right next to your rib cage. The other one meets it up and moves. Good, switch. Beautiful work. All right, so now that we went ahead and went through all of our upper body, essentially except for our chest, um, we're gonna go ahead now do it again, see if we can lift any heavier weight through any of those motions, okay? So starting at the beginning, if you remember, were you completely maxed out on your beginner weight? If you weren't, let's go ahead and upgrade. Keeping your light weight near you will also be really good, so that way in case if you're needing to drop weight, Feel free to do so. Here we go. Hold. Focus, core tight, breathe. We're almost done. Wrists are locked. Good. Hammer curl. The other one you can either hold here or here, your choice. All right, switch arms. Good, hammer curl. Feeling that burn? 
Yeah, I love it. All right, next one's going to shoulders. I'm gonna lift that one that's holding a little bit higher. Really activate that shoulder muscle by getting that 90 degree angle in. Good, you can turn it now, other side. Not other side, I guess, other direction of the exercise. Oh, I can't even talk, I'm burning so bad right now. Oh my goodness, Whew. best burn ever. Okay, let's go to the other arm, holding it up, let's go. Put your game face on, core tight, make sure you're breathing. Drop weight if you need to, just keep going. Oh, I didn't hold it up. I'm gonna hold it right here because I forgot to hold it. Oh my gosh. Whew. My brain just went on autopilot because that was just so hard. All right, let's go ahead and go into those triceps. Here we go. Make sure those elbows are by your ears, elbows are straight up and down. You can tell by my face, I am not faking this burn right now. Whew. Okay, all we have left is our back. All right, palms facing away from you, both sides. Here we go. Elbows coming straight back next to your rib cage and weight is coming up to your hip. Chest is lifted, core is tight, back is parallel to the ground, and you're breathing. Good, switch. You're still on the same side. You just switch positions. Look at the other one that's holding. Oh. All right, last side, last one. Here we go. Good, switch it up. And drop it down. Oh, literally sweating. How amazing is that? Great job, you guys. Go ahead and take a nice little stretch. I'm gonna do it with you if you feel like you wanna add in your own. Awesome. Let's just cool it down now. Take your chair, place your elbows up onto the chair, and bring your head underneath. One arm stays up while the other arm twists. Good, switch sides.
Beautiful. Sit in the chair, you're just gonna hold on to the opposite of the chair and twist your body the opposite way of the arm. Add some little head circles if you'd like. Good, and switch sides. Taking the fingertips and placing them behind you, leaning up, arching through the back. You can accelerate this, this uh, position. You can go onto your feet. Good, one arm at a time. And switch. And of course, final hug yourself. And just for a moment, appreciative that you were able to take this time and being consistent with me today, because that's how we get results is by being consistent. Great job, thanks for joining me today. Make sure to grab your protein shake right after this. Um, absolutely beneficial to make sure you're feeding your lean muscle so that way you can burn fat and calories um, even up to 24, 48 hours after your workout. So come check out the Booty Bands and Barbells Protein made with almonds, super smooth tasting. So go check it out. And of course, come make sure to come join the Facebook group where we are going to be hosting live Monday motivation workouts with all the coaches for free. So come check us out every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Bye everyone, see you in the group. Let me show you the secret on how you can cut fat and keep your curves. Did you know that when you're losing weight, you're actually losing three things, water, fat, and muscle. And losing your muscle, that's like losing your metabolism. Skipping meals and dieting can actually lower your resting metabolism up to 20% a day. The secret is lifting weights and maintaining your muscle will actually speed your metabolism up. The Booty Bands and Barbells program is designed to build lean muscle that will cut the fat and keep your curves. Put yourself first, act now, you feeling great, and your new transformation can start today.